and then I move it aside, and, it'll, and then I take, select, click home, and you see the pivot, the pivot turns into that square, and I, I hold X, and that will throw in the middle of the grid. Like on the grid, it will, uh, I'll have magnet, I'll have a snap, I'll have the snap to pivot to uh, grid points when you hold X, X. X is for grid, uh, snap on grid, V snap on vertice, and C snap on curve. All right, so like it's kind of on the sides, so select that, hit home again, and now we go to duplicate spatial, and I say five copies, and I say rotate in 60 degrees, because a whole circle is 360, so 60, uh, six, when it's six barrels, six times, 60 is 360, all right? Hit, apply, that's it. Yeah, click another one, delete history. So I have this ring. So Okay, now we group it. Then I'll move a pivot, so where is that? It will stand on something, right? We'll make some, I'll move a pivot down a bit. And we have our gun here. You can also animate, we can make it rotate. Let's group that, those barrels. Okay, let's go back. Just group them. And we can go and say, okay, let's add some. We just want it, uh, okay, select now. Select that group. And keyframe. Key and then 50, make it 360 degrees. Okay, it rotates. And now if we go to uh, graph editor, we animation graph editor. If we want it constantly throughout entire animation, if we want it to rotate constantly, we just go, and we can see that by, we go to view, infinity, show infinity. You see it goes, it goes straight line, but what we can do, Post infinity curves, post infinity, we say constant, no. Cycle and then, yeah, cycle with offset. So as long as we play, it's always be rotated because we have a cycle. So that's our group. Let's go a bit far from the car. Let's scale it up. So right now the car is kind of small. Let's see. Also has to be inside the flute. Let's see the flute container. Well, we'll have it a bit bigger than that. So I'll scale that car. Yeah, in the try to put some to get some you know idea of proportions. So that's like by basic container and it's it's very low res and it's smaller ten by ten by ten. We have our car inside. We'll make the container maybe 50 by 50 or something. Just for now, we'll delete it later. Just for now. Yeah, uh, no, just to, to compare, like you know, keep in mind that, you know, the simulation, what the scale will be. Because once you, once you run the simulations, you, get, you better keep the scale. Because you, uh, if you try to resize after that, your, all your fluids and stuff will, will thrown off. Uh, so we won't make it too big. I guess that's that's all right. So scale. A bit more just for the sake of resolution. And then we go modify freeze transformations. Now we have L back to zeros. 
and let's put it on the Okay, and here's our gun. Let's for uh, better view, we can add some curve here. I'll just To help us aim better, we'll make some nerve curve and we'll parent it to our gun. So. Move the pivot, and this, this, in this case, we, I click C, so it, my pivot is snapped to, to curve, and I have it on the bottom of that curve. Let's put it in the middle. I don't need this. And then I snap X. And I bring out my Gatling, my gun group as well to the middle. So we can align it properly. Rotate 19Z up. There we go. So let's. Uh, a good idea to group. Okay, let's name that. Gun group. Okay, that was okay. That's our curve. And they parent it underneath the curve. So each time we select the curve. We can manipulate it. Yeah. See? And we also know where it goes. All right. Now let's build. Uh, so we have, we need two types of particles. Everybody has a gun? Just if you, if you, don't, you didn't finish your gun, just put, put a tube. Just make a pipe in the middle. And we just create a new one. Scaled up, keep it in the middle so we can align our emitter to it before we go anywhere. And then now, mm -hmm. let's do n particles, n dynamics. We go n particles, create n particles, emitter, do we have anything directional. No, just throw one in. Directional, let's see what it does. Directional rates, 20. And direction Y instead of X, zero spread. Okay, actually minus. Oh, sorry. One, and then we'll, we'll disable the gravity. So we'll go and let's just do gravity zero for now. It goes both directions. Uh, meter, directional, one spread zero. Uh, self collide uh, where's the particles okay collisions don't self collide okay good have a particle here so we meet and then we got speed very good
and we'll give it, I think I should uh, lower the conserve. Or maybe not. Okay, let's parent it. We have the emitter. Let's parent it underneath the, okay, this is aim. Aim gun, we'll call that curve. And we'll put our emitter on the parent underneath. And now it's, it's all good, ready for animation. So we'll give it, you want to fly around, that's fine. You can put it in one position, you can put it, you know, mounted on a tank or something, or a helicopter, or a balloon. I'll put this as well, so we have collisions. We'll put the uh, NURBS uh, polygon uh, plane. So I have ground to hit, because uh, the collisions, well, I don't think they'll they're going to calculate if we just do the uh, uh, nucleus plane. We need something to hit on. OK, let's paint our car. Uh huh? <laughs> you want to watch YouTube off. again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got one cylinder. No, just, uh, I mean, don't. No, and the, the emitter, I, all the controls for that, I The emitter itself? Yeah. Okay, you, you have it on all centered? You have a, you have a curve? No, curve? No curve is a good, huh? No curve. So just throw, instead of drawing, you can draw a curve, or you can just throw a square, scale it up, delete history. Delete all the sides, so we have one, one curve. You see now you have a pivot. Click home, move that pivot. And now if you click C, if you hold C down, C button, and you get close up, it's, it snaps to, to the curve. So move all the way to the bottom, now it's aligned. Now you can move, you see now it's, uh, the pivot is right on the bottom of that curve. So now if you, if you hold X button and you zoom in a little, you see your grid? Now it's aligned, it snaps the grid, so right in the middle. You did that? 